Hey everyone, welcome to The Hunch Voice. My name is Emma, a growth marketer here at Hunch, and today The Hunch Voice speaks up about the role of localization in paid social. And we'll present four powerful plays we've made for advertisers seeking to deliver engaging and personalized ads that drive better results and lower costs. For those of you who don't know us, Hunch is a meta business partner for technology. We're heavily involved in the space of creative enhancement of basically everything you do on paid social, as well as campaign automation. Let's get back to the chase. Performance marketers already know that local advertising on social works better than global campaigns because displaying hyper-targeted ads based on user location drives three times better engagement. But if you want to execute a successful localization campaign, you're faced with two basic challenges. How to produce the required number of assets and how to actually get those ads into a campaign. Furthermore, the overall problem is speed. Even if you can produce all the assets, what happens when you need to update them? It would take hours to produce and then a day or two for launching. Localization is mostly suitable for agency advertisers, businesses with multi-regional online stores or multi proletarian locations, and everyone who has a need to localize ad experience as well as everyone having a hunch for this hyper-local strategy. By the end of this video, you'll get to know what digital elements can be localized, how to promote product delivery with localized targeted creative, how to promote store locations and products with advanced formats, seasonal collections using weather and location data, and how to create and use story dynamic video templates for localized targeting. And after running hundreds of successful campaigns, saving months in creative production and launching, and working with some of the best brands in the industry like UGG, Auto Bavaria, and Lampenlicht, Hunch is now sharing the exact place we use to help brands unlock performance and growth. Therefore, what stops performance advertisers from localizing their ads? Simple, the sheer amount of time and costs involved to adapt to creative for all locations, while also making sure it's relevant to the audience and staying on brand. And losing access to other data points means the creative has to do the heavy lifting, so ideally, you'd need hundreds of variations of the creative to prevent ad fatigue. So, what can you localize? Basically everything, from in-house ad copy to third-party data. Any data feed you plug into Hunch's dynamic creative system can be used to localize your ads. Some of them include product information, product photos, location, city, neighborhood, store locations, languages, and weather. You can see the full list on the blog I'll post below. Having the ability to localize elements to such a granular level also solves another problem that plagues brands, maintaining brand governance. Brand governance enables brands to monitor and maintain consistency, relevance, and efficacy across every touchpoint. Without the capability to localize every single ad element, it becomes harder to stay relevant in niche markets where local competitors are fighting for the same audience segment. Which brings us to the heroes of our video, the four retail power plays why you should use them, and how to implement them in your localized campaigns. Play number one, promote product delivery using localized targeted creative. If you're targeting a particular neighborhood or city or state, find out what makes people tick. A phrase, a local saying, prominent places, or even the skyline, because inauthentic superficial attempts to localize ads are instantly ignored. Instead, focus on audience research to come up with ideas for creatives and keep cycling through those ideas to then A-B test them on your audience. You can expect reduced CPMs, production costs, and launch times, as well as more engagement. Here's a mini case study we did a while back with one of our clients, Genero. As a global creative platform for marketers, Genero are running more than a thousand Facebook ads for one of their clients using Hunch. And here's what it did to their results. The CPLs from their lead campaign dropped by about 82%, while the CACs dropped by 62% in their purchase campaign. Play number two, promote store locations and products with advanced formats. Although advertisers design linear purchase funnels, it's never quite that simple. What one expects is that a customer sees an ad, clicks on it, this is the landing page, buys the product, then becomes a super fan. Not quite. But what actually happens is that a customer searches for a product online, then sees a generic ad, doesn't click on it, then sees another boring ad, doesn't click on it again, then sees an ad that's for a local store, clicks on it, finds the information they actually need, then physically goes into that store and purchases the needed product. But how can you use localism to influence your ad localization? 
Use advanced formats for these ads. Instead of using a simple creative to engage users, include similar products they might be interested in. The exact location, map, and direction. Play number three, promote seasonal collections using weather and location data. A new reason why someone might hide your ad on Facebook is that it may know too much. Shoppers want personalized ads, but not ads that know too much about them. Thus, brands looking to try a new storytelling format should look at using weather data in their ads. Another mini case study we did is about offering bigger discounts as it gets warmer. We've all seen ads that use weather to drive conversions, but what about changing offers based on the temperature? Data Revolt, one of our clients, decided to try something radical and tie discounts to the temperature for one of their telco clients, Orange. For instance, an ad gets activated when the temperature outside hits 15 degrees Celsius. And for every degree above that threshold, a new discount rate pops up. So if the temperature outside is 35 degrees, potential buyers get shown a product with a 20% discount. Play number four, story dynamic video templates for localized targeting. Videos are far more immersive than text only or image based ads. However, localizing video creatives is not an easy task. Imagine asking your designers and copywriters to keep tweaking the frames so the algorithm doesn't stop showing your ad due to ad fatigue. Instead, using dynamic video templates allows you to run multiple ad variants with different copy and images across hundreds of location in local languages. We talk about ad localization and creative automation in the same breath because localization is practically impossible to achieve without creative automation. Not just when it comes to creative production, but creative testing as well. Creative cycling is the way forward and quite unrealistic without automation to back you up. Customers expect local ads, which brings us back to our original hypothesis. Automated ad localization is the key to winning over customers and hitting performance goals. Brands that will win on digital are using data to drive their decisions and creatives to unlock new ways to engage with their audience. In fact, the Hunch Advertising Trend Survey shows that 78% of our respondents said that localization and contextualization of ads is worth investigating in to get better engagement. Thanks for staying with me. Hope this was quite valuable. You could actually beat Nest for localization. Hop on a free strategy consultation to find out if localized ads are the right move for your brand. And if you're still in the learning phase, our blog below may be just the perfect study material. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more content. Also, follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our weekly newsletter for more new content every week. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.